All right, so the Chloe Bailey hate train continues to keep rolling. Now, I know I'm a little bit late to this, but y'all bear with me. But Chloe is trending on Twitter because she has a song coming out with Chris Brown. Now, I don't know if this is the same song that Hitmaker previewed on his Instagram Live that has Chloe, Chris Brown, and Meek Mill on it. And it actually sounded pretty good. But regardless of the fact, she posted the flyer for it. And yeah, people wasn't having it. Now, of course, people aren't having it because Chris Brown is apparently canceled over what he did to Rihanna. We all know that since then, he has not been in the limelight the way he should be. I personally don't believe in cancel culture because I just believe that people are still going to end up getting their money. They're just not doing it in your face. I feel like Chris Brown is more so blackballed. Which means, you know, because obviously he's one of the greatest entertainers of this generation. He has still yet to perform at the Super Bowl. He had a performance at the Grammy that they canceled. Uh, he hasn't been on BET in forever that I can remember. So, of course, he's black ball, but he's not he's not canceled because this man can still go on tour and sell it out. He can still drop an album and it goes platinum. So as much as people like to think that he's canceled, he's not. Even the baby isn't canceled. The dude just announced that he sold out a venue, 75% of a venue over there in Japan. Y'all might say, oh, well, he's doing it in Japan. Hey, international money, man. He's still getting to the bag. So how's he canceled? So needless to say, I will get into the fact of why people are pretty much sick of Chloe outside of that. Um, and a lot of it has to do with the fact that since Chloe, Chloe and Hallie, um, separated their instagram accounts it seems like hallie went more and continued on with the whole mystique of just being kind of like the shy quiet girl you know maybe a little cleavage here and there but you're not gonna see too much out of her whereas chloe was the exact opposite to the point where a lot of people felt like she was trying too hard and that she was basically over sexualizing herself because a lot of people feel like she's way too talented for that that she doesn't need to show her ass and continue to do provocative things to get people to pay attention to her music well it seems now that because she up and one day decided that she realized she had a fat ass a lot of people really just don't can't stomach her anymore i can tell you or if you think i'm pulling this out of my ass go on any blog site go on shade room go on anywhere and if the, if chloe is showing her ass somebody in the comment section is going to say girl we get it okay oh here she go again da, 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 da. so a lot of people are just sick and tired of seeing chloe just showing her ass when they feel like she's just so much better than that um regardless of the fact i want to know what you guys think um personally i do feel like chloe has somewhere down the line been told that hey you know you got a body you know maybe you need to start selling it a little bit more and she's never looked back but i think that somebody on her pr team needs to make her draw it back in before people start putting her body before her talent if that makes sense the best way i can kind of explain it is remember when ice spice first came out um and there was like this little viral video of she was rapping and nobody knew the words nobody was saying anything or nothing like that and as soon as she bent over and start shaking her ass the whole crowd went crazy i think it's kind of like a similar thing with that where a lot of people just don't want to see her go down a route where her body speaks louder than her talent now ice spice is clearly showing people that she can rap um i'm just using that analogy because that was what her career looked like a little bit early on where people just really just want to see, see ice spice shake some ass and it's kind of getting to that point with chloe now where people are, are instead of embracing the fact that chloe is shaking her ass they're more so upset with the fact that she's doing it because they just feel like she's so much more talented than that um so hey you guys let me know what you think down below um i still feel like y'all gonna listen to chris brown's verse on it anyway again cancel culture is so funny man y'all do all that shit for the internet i want to know what y'all think though i'm gone